Uh, today in Haiti, there's a lot of unrest. Fed up with skyrocketing prices and gang violence, people took to the street again to make their voices heard. There's a tremendous economic hardship in the country right now, where we're seeing more people coming to the gate at Many Hands because people know Many Hands offers assistance in times of need. When groups would come, we would go out and we would be out in the community more. We would be out and sharing uh, God's love, being love in action in various ways, such as food distributions. A person that needs a new home and finding the resources to, to build that new home. Reaching out and pouring concrete floors with the groups that would come. And so our Haitian staff had been uh, noticing the difference now that it's been some time since Many Hands has been able to host groups because of the insecurity in the country. All of Many Hands Haitian staff will have the opportunity to participate in this initiative. Everyone will have a voice and will have the opportunity to give suggestions of who is in need and then actually be the ones that go, that are the hands and feet of Jesus, that go and get the privilege of being love in action by sharing those gifts. The way scripture tells, uh, Jesus told the man, stretch out your hand uh, and I will heal you. And he did just that. So we are looking at this as many hands as being obedient to the call of the Lord to stretch out our hand, to go those places and to, to be for those people what they don't have the resources uh, to do for themselves. Each staff member will have the opportunity to participate to be that stretched out hand for those in need. There's so much healing that needs to go on uh, within the people of Haiti. So I think this is going to be a way that they're going to feel the power that comes through loving God and seeing God in action and being that love in action. This could be just one of those things that a person has that uh, reward of being able to serve someone else. It may not stop there. They may turn into being a better servant in their community, in their neighborhood, to their neighbors. This is how God works.